What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, tonight we're talking to you guys about something that um, the direction of GIFT Labs, but I want to kind of kind of fit some puzzle pieces together for you guys. Now, you guys have seen the videos that I put out warning you against heavy metals in whey protein as well as the um, the plant based protein. And the other day I was drinking a shake and someone said on my Instagram, they were like, um, hey Jerry, like you told us not to drink whey protein. Why are you drinking whey protein? Like they were kind of like freaking out about it. I was drinking an isopure. And I was like, where did you see me ever say not to drink whey protein? Well, I saw your video on, um, on YouTube and you said that whey protein is bad. Don't drink whey protein. I said, okay, listen, I was telling you about things that are in whey protein that you might not know is there so that you can make the decision based on having all the facts and not just being led blindly into buying a product. That's all it was. Now I still drink whey protein. I use the isolate from um, from Primeval. I drink a plant-based protein. I use the Ambrosia um, Planta, I believe it's called. I use different proteins. You know, some days I feel like having the the maple French toast Planta. Other days I feel like having the strawberry cream um, isolate. It just depends on what I feel like having that day. But I still consume those products. But I'm fully aware that there are things in those products that are not necessarily healthy for me. Now, that being said. Over the last year, I've actually found out a lot of information about stuff like that, about things that are in products that we just don't really understand, don't really know about. The information's out there, we don't search for it. Like it's not told to us by the companies, the companies don't even really know about it. In the fitness industry in general, it's not really known about it because it's more of a health aspect than a fitness aspect. So when GIFD Labs came out, I said, I'm gonna do things different. I'm not gonna do the same thing everybody's doing. I'm not gonna chase people. I'm gonna go my own way, blaze my own trail, and I'm not gonna have a competitive battle with other companies trying to outdo products. Everybody's doing the same products. They just keep adding more caffeine to their pre-workouts to who has the most stims, like, you know, they're, they're who has the most laxo on a product. Like, it's the same products, but everybody's trying to outdo each other. That's not where I want to be. I want to be at the place where I put something out, to that, out that's absolutely needed that nobody else is paying attention to that can help people be healthier while they're gaining muscle, while they're losing fat, things that people don't think about. So one of the things that I've kind of been doing lately is in all, all along, I've been gearing up with different products than, you know, Primazine is different than anything on the market. BMR4 is different than anything on the market. Perfect Post, different than anything on the market. Lifestyle Multi, different than anything on the market. Our Essential Amino Plus, different than anything on the market. It has the collagen as well as the aminos in one product, right? And I stepped back and I said, you know, the next product that I come out with, I want it to be different, but I want it to do something that can help people be safer than what they're doing right now. So I said, okay, I looked at the whey protein and the, um, you know, any animal-based protein and plant-based protein and said, look, there are heavy metals in these proteins. Matter of fact, everyone that was tested had high heavy metal concentrations and the plant proteins were even worse than the, the animal-based. I said, but people are not going to stop drinking that. And I got the idea in my head. I kind of correlated it with people that are lactose intolerant don't stop drinking milk. They created the lactate supplement or drug or whatever you want to call it to take with different dairy sources so that you don't have the problem. So you have to find something that solves the problem without somebody actually giving up the thing that they're using. And I figured it out. So I have several products that will be coming out soon. Three of them that are going to be big ones that I'm working on right now. And the one that I think will be most health beneficial for people consuming protein powders will be the cleanse product that come out. I don't really know the name of it yet, but I have something on tap that will actually remove the heavy metals. It helps, hang on, I should say, I can't make any drug claims, will help the body rid itself, support the body cleansing system, ridding itself of heavy metals. So it's something you take in addition to the protein powders to make sure that those heavy metals don't build up in your system. With that also has a heart health aspect to it. So I wanted something that was like a one-two punch for people that are using protein powders, but and I can't condone the use of underground gear, but underground gear, all the samples tested high for heavy metals. So I'm like, people that are using underground gear need to take a product that helps their body, supports the detox of heavy metals from their body. You gotta be careful what I say. But also, you know, everybody's worried about liver, liver, liver. They're putting out products to cleanse your liver, stuff like that. Well, what about the heart? The heart is really the thing that takes the beating when you take gear. So I said, you know, there are a few things that contribute to heart health long-term that people that are using underground gear should be concerned with the gear used for heart, but also the heavy metals. So like this product is a one-two punch for protein powders as well as underground gear users. That'll help both of them stay healthier in the long run. It's like, fuck, this is the one. This is a big one. I also have T2G. T2G is a product that'll probably be launching first. That one has been 
I've been waiting for years to be able to develop a product and call it T2G Time to Grow. There are three adaptogens out there, plant sterols that are out there in the world right now that no one is even talking about. One of them was used in the Soviet Union in place of D-ball in the Olympics before now it's actually been, or it's going to be banned in the Olympics. And as of like this year, they're talking about banning this herb or this, this adaptogen, but it was used by the Soviet Union. It was used by China, it's been used by different athletes in replacement of steroids as an adaptogen to help their body adapt to stress in general, but it leads to better muscle gains while you're using it over time. That was just one adaptogen. There were two other ones that I used to use back in the day that had never been stacked before. And people, you know, they're always looking for like, they're taking Laxo, they're looking for, you know, the next big thing to come out. I'm like, we have some amazing things that by themselves were great. However, stacked together had never been done. So I made the formula, took it, gave it to my clients, gave it to myself, started testing it to see what happens. Not just for muscle gain, but for added stress from external sources. I knew that obviously gaining muscle is not just about what you do in the gym. Like you're in the gym for an hour and a half, the rest of the time, 22 and a half hours, 23 and a half hours, depending on how long you train, you're outside of the gym. What you do outside of the gym could easily undo what you do inside of the gym. And external stress is a big factor of why people don't necessarily gain the muscle at the rate they want to. So if you can take something that helps your body adapt to that stress, and I mean all stresses, whether it's mental stress, emotional stress, physical stress from the weight training, your body will adapt to that stress, hence adapt to the stimulus from the weight training faster and better, you'll get better muscle gain. So I was like, well, this is it. So T2G, as well as that other detox formula, are two heavy hitters that are in the pipeline right now for GIFD Labs. The adaptogen will be out first, and the, the health product, the cleanse product, will be out afterwards. And as of right now, I'm researching now, and I'm actually testing it on myself because I'm a guinea pig, and there's a few other people that are close to me that are testing it also. But there are several nutrients, okay, that have been around for a long time that have been completely overlooked. And I searched everywhere to see if people were using these things. You can buy them individually here and there. You can buy them, but nobody knows how to apply them, let alone did anybody know how to stack them and what the outcome would be. And this product, unbelievable, natural products out there are unbelievable for anxiety, support for anxiety, depression, and get this one, pain relief. Unbelievable what these things do. And all this, all this stuff that I'm talking about is backed by scientific research. There's tons and tons of data that prove that these things do what I'm talking about, as well as in the gym practical applications from Olympic athletes to regular individuals who just have problems with anxiety, depression, muscle gain. It's been a whirlwind last six months going through these things that much like the gorilla, um, the gorilla chemist who goes into backlogs of stuff that have already been created but never really brought to market because they've gone with other things, but there are things that are unbelievable that he's revisiting, I'm revisiting, that when these things hit the market, I do believe will change what the supplement industry is doing from here on out. I honestly believe, just like I said collagen was gonna change, when I put it in my formula, I said everyone will have collagen. Just about every company out there now has a form of collagen, some even add it to their protein powders. I said that long before anybody even had collagen on the radar. Like I knew these things are important for muscle growth. They're important for health. They're important for you to take every day to be the best that you can be. And people just overlook them because they're looking for something sexy. They're looking for something that they can promote that nobody knows about. Well, nobody knows about these things. But they're, because they're in the past, they're looking for something new. Do you know how many things out there, actual steroid-wise, are out there, designer steroid-wise, that have been made 40 years ago, like Superdrawl, something like that? that you guys thought was new. That thing was made like 30 years ago. It's 10 times stronger than Anadrol. That wasn't new. That was an old analog that somebody went back into the books, pulled out, manufactured, put on the market and found out it worked so well. And everybody's like, there's a new designer steroid. No, that was made 30 years ago. There are things sitting backlogged in analogs right now that would blow your fucking mind that people don't want to go through. And after this video and these things start happening with myself and again, the Gorilla Chemist is doing some great work on his own. I think when people start seeing what we're finding, and how well the products work when they come out. I think that, you know, that little secret can of worms that we're going back and forth with, looking at these things that have been around for a really long time that work exceptionally well. Matter of fact, they work better than a lot of shit on the market right now. I think companies are gonna start delving back into those things and diving back into them rather than looking for the new things that have strange data to, to support what the fuck they're doing 
and said like that that isopropyl whatever the fuck it was that was supposed to be this great pump thing that was in and out of the fitness industry in the blink of an eye and it's not even found in products anymore that was supposed to be better than any nitric oxy booster or anything it didn't pan out at all hmb didn't pan out at all when hmb out came out it was a metabolite of leucine that they extracted from leucine leucine on its own works 10 times better than the hmb but hmb was marketed with some kind of weird fucking research behind it and it never panned out because it was bullshit but there are actually things out there that are not new that are unbelievable. This one nutrient, this one herb, I guess you could call it, absolutely has been used by Eastern Bloc countries successfully because they were being tested for steroids and they couldn't test positive for something to get kicked out. So they used this compound that worked and we knew about it and it was working back in the 90s and all of a sudden it disappeared when creatine came around. Now, no offense, creatine is great on its own, but it's not better than this stuff, and it probably works even better if you stack them together. This one adaptogen I've used it with myself and my clients, it adapts so well. It helps your body adapt so well over time that I couldn't even imagine stacking it with something like creatine beforehand that your body's in the gym able to use heavier weights just from the creatine. You're able to recover faster in between sets from the creatine. You use heavier weights for more duration of time that your body could adapt from that. This stuff is, I'm telling you right now, it's going to blow the lid off of the supplement industry when this stuff hits the market. I don't give a shit what anybody says. People may play it down, but I see who orders the products. I see the names that order the products and I go, holy shit, this person's sponsored by this company. Holy shit, this person's sponsored by this company. If they're sponsored by these fucking companies, why the fuck are they buying my products? I got people that, names that you would be like, what the fuck, that are not only using my fucking products, but constantly hitting me up to know, hey, can I stack it with this? Can I stack it with that? Can I stack it with this? Hey, Jerry, well, what about this product? And I'm sitting there going, holy fuck. Like you guys all are using, well, not all, but many of these people are using my products. They can't talk about it because they they got contracts with other companies. And I'm stepping back going, holy shit, like, you know what? It's not about perception, right? They say perception is reality. No, my reality is my reality. My reality is GIFD Labs is exactly what I wanted it to be. It's something that is not like anything out there. And I can truly say that the ingredients in my formulas are not just the same shit in everybody else's formulas with a jacked up amount. Right? Oh, different than everything. No, it's got exactly the same shit half these companies. And they put 200 milligrams more of caffeine. Oh, it's so different than everything. No, it's not. It's not different. You added 200 milligrams. Of different means different. It means that the shit in your products are nothing like what's on the market. And that's where we're at. So far, five products released, five different than anywhere on the market, anything. And the next three are going to be heavy hitters that absolutely, hands down, people are going to go, what the fuck? And it's going to open some eyes. I think people, once they do their own research, too, once they find out what these compounds are, they do their own research, they're going to be like, holy shit. Hands down, guys, I am super excited to bring you guys the next those next three products, but things in the future also that I feel honestly are needed. I said that before. Like there are a lot of things out there that people are making supplement-wise that aren't necessarily needed. They're just trying to compete with other companies. But there are holes with shit missing. Adaptogens, everybody's too worried about the natural anabolics. Anabolism is a part of it. Adaption to stress and how your body handles stress will dictate whether or not you grow even if you're anabolic. In a state of stress, your body will not build muscle while it's trying to adapt to certain outside stresses, emotional, physical, you know, mental, all those different types of stresses are stress. And your body can only adapt if it knows how to handle those stresses also, which is why a lot of bodybuilders say, oh, to grow, I don't work. I sleep 10 hours a day. I train twice a day. I take two naps, low stress levels. When you're getting ready for a show, many people don't, they don't work. Why? Low stress levels. Why? The stress level changes the way the physique looks, changes the way the body reacts to the drugs. If stress changes the way the body reacts to drugs, what do you think it's doing when you're not on drugs? It's not having an easy time adapting to that. You have to get to a point where your body's adapting to all those stresses. And nobody is going doing anything about that. They're not delving into information. They're not creating new products for it. They put out something like PS, phallocetrostyrene that they put out. Oh my God, that, that's not an adaptogen. It's a cortisol inhibitor. It's not the same thing. An adaptogen is not just a cortisol inhibitor. So I'm sitting back going, these are things that really could help people accomplish their goals very quickly compared to where they would without them. And nobody's even fucking got these things on their radar. So I'm like, fuck. I said, this is really what it's about. And part of it came about by me finding, you know, out about the heavy metals in the protein powders. I was like, well, I'm not going to stop taking the protein powders, right? I just have to accept the fact that that shit's in them. And then I realized I watched a friend of mine actually taking lactate with some ice cream and I said fuck that's the key the key is not stop using them the key is to find something to add to it so you can still use to make it safer and make sure that your body utilizes it properly 
but nobody's looking at that. Nobody's paying attention to that. They're too concerned with what the other companies are doing. And I literally have stopped paying attention to every other company out there. If you ask me about a product right now, say, hey, Joe, what do you think about this? I don't fucking know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in it. I have no fucking clue what the hell's going on. I don't give a shit about sponsored athletes. I don't give a shit about fucking Instagram. I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. The only way to get this stuff done the way that I'm doing right now is keep my fucking head down, my blinders on, and keep fucking doing what I do, being unconcerned with everything and everything and everybody else that's around me to be able to do this stuff successfully. Because once you get somebody else in your head about what's going on, you start wondering, well, what if, well, what, what if I do a little bit of what they're doing with this? Nope, I need to do what I do. I need people to chase me and not chase them which is what's happening. These motherfuckers are chasing each other's tails, playing slap happy games with each other, trying to put products out that really are just clones of other products with a little bit of more of this, a little less of this, a little bit different flavoring here. No, we're going to put out stuff that I think is going to hands down, you know, change. I mean, look at the EAs, right? I was right about the EAs. I was the only one right about the EAs. When Primeval and myself put out those EAs before, it changed the industry. Everyone has an EA now. And I'm like, you know what? This is what it is. Like people don't have a vision. Many people don't have a vision. They don't have a clue. They don't have an idea. They don't want to be innovative. They don't want to make money. I mean, yes, it's good to make money. And you know what? I don't make a quarter of what these people do. I would make a fuck ton more money if I did a high stim fucking pre-workout and a laxo product and all this other fucking happy or shit that everybody got protein powder, all this other shit. It's not about money. It's making products that fucking work. It's making products that are different. It's making products that you need and don't just want hands down that will work and fill in the holes that you actually need. It's about what you need and not just putting stuff out there for the fuck of it. So hopefully you guys understand what the fuck is going on now. Because I get questions all the time about, what about this? What about that? Are you going to make a high stem pre-workout? I'm like, I need to just address this shit. I need to put it out there so people understand that what we're doing here is trying to close the gap. And this is going to sound so far out there. People are going to go, what the fuck? You have your weight training and results and, and stuff that you want to do. And you have the people that do it naturally. And you have the people that do it with steroids. People that do it naturally will never be able to compete with the people that are on steroids because they have that unfair advantage. What if we could bridge that gap somewhere in the middle? Of course, nothing's going to beat steroids. But what if we could have stuff that goes beyond the supplements now, closer to fucking steroids, was 100% natural, no tolerance built with them, no down regulation with them, no withdrawals when you come off things. Like when you come off stims, you have withdrawals. When you come off BMR4, you do not. Like what if there is a better way? And that's what I'm doing. I'm finding a better fucking way. But... I almost have to isolate myself from everybody else to do it, which is interesting because you cannot have the distractions. You cannot be distracted by what the fuck is going on with trends and all that shit. Like lately we've been hashtagging the, the, the word trend killer, right? I've had it on t-shirts and that's what I'm calling myself now because the trend killer, whole, the whole gimmick is I'm not going with the trends. I'm going against the trends and here we are. The collagen is a trend now. That was my fucking trend. I created that. I built that and I'll take credit for that. In the past, I would, I would say, no, 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 I just, whatever. Fuck that. I'm seeing shit like EAAs, collagen, fucking all these things that I used to talk about, the keto diet with lower fat and fucking higher protein, things that I used to talk about that people didn't fucking believe they didn't want to do are doing now. And they believe it is gospel because they heard someone else say it because someone else figured it out after I fucking put it out there. They researched it and said, that's a good idea. And it's not about getting credit. It's about doing more. Fuck it. Everything I said and did is in the past. We're here now and we're moving to the future. In the future, more shit coming out that fucking I absolutely believe will become a trend but for now, we're going to continue being the trend killer and doing our fucking way, like Burger King. We do it our way. The bottom line is, guys, I'm here for you guys. This is not for me. My best days are in my past. I wish I had the things that GIFD Lab is making now in the past that we didn't have. I wish we had stuff to fill in the holes that I was creating shit on my own. If you guys remember, Intracell 7 was created for Primeval by me, mixing all the individual ingredients myself for me and my clients because there was a need for that supplement. I've been doing that for a long fucking time my whole life, creating supplements by using other raw ingredients and not putting them on the market. I've given them sometimes just to clients, just use them myself. But the bottom line is the things that I've done and I've actually put that stuff on YouTube, you've seen me change my body, you change my clients' bodies. It's time that that shit gets out there to the public because you know what? I'm not going to be here forever, guys. And taking that fucking information with me isn't going to fucking do me or anybody else a damn bit of good. And no, I'm not going to make a fucking million dollars from it, but it doesn't matter. The information gets out there and this information is all out there to begin with. I found it. I didn't create this. I found this stuff. But I'm the only one, it seems like right now, that goes out there and digs far enough after this stuff, then researches it over and over again, uses it on themselves like a fucking guinea pig. I shouldn't say the only one. The Gorilla Chemist does a lot of great work too, so I got to give Brian credit. I love you, buddy. But the bottom line is there's not enough people doing what we're doing out there. They're just following the crowds. And for now, 
The trend killer is in full effect and we're fucking coming for everything that we fucking need to do to get that shit done in fucking the rest of 2019 and 2020. And you know what? I have you guys to thank for it. You guys standing up for me, believing in me, backing me 100%. Thank you all very much and keep an eye out because GIFD Labs is just getting started. Training at gmail.com. If comments down below, but don't fight by strength. Doc comes along. It's the Just Getting Started bicep. Get that sleeve up there. And we are out.